Easy now, folks. If you're wanting to know how I managed to spray paint the back of this tank like this, or just how to spray paint the back of a tank in general, make yourself a nice background. Stick around, because that's exactly what we're going to look at right now. Right, let's go in then. Okay, so we've got this Aqua One 30 centimetre cube, which is going to be home to my beautiful new beta that I've got coming. So what I wanted to do was make a nice background for him. As you would imagine, because we're using spray paint, the first thing we need to do is protect the other panels. So I've just got some of this masking tape here and I'm just going to line it up exactly with the edge of the tank. And smooth it down so there's no gaps where the paint can get in. Should have really removed those lid to ledges first. There we go. So with the edges protected, we can think about protecting the rest of the panels. So I've just got two sheets of newspaper that I'm going to loop over the top of the tank there and use the masking tape to hold it in place. And again, we don't want any gaps between the paper and the glass, so we try and make sure it's overlapping the edge and smooth it right down. There we go. We're going to want to repeat that all the way around the tank. So we need to do the bottom next. It's a good idea to make sure your working surface is nice and clear. Don't want any wee specks on your table scratching your glass or anything like that. We'll just do to the bottom the exact same that we did to the side. Bring our tape right to the edge. And make sure it's smoothed all the way up. Before adding our newspaper to cover the rest of the panel. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the last side then. To do the spraying you need to be in a well ventilated area. And what's better ventilated than outside here, look at that, beautiful day. So if we cover our work surface with newspaper, it's going to protect the surface and it's also going to prevent, again, any wee uh, particles of grain or grit scratching our surface of our tank. And I've got this Rust-Oleum peatable paint here. Lime green, that's not going to be everybody's first choice, but I wanted to give it a go. And this is where I first made a mistake. Normally, you would do this on the flat, as if you were spraying the top of a table. But, because that was difficult to show you guys for the recording, I tried it on the side here, and I started getting some runs, you can see that. Also, I sprayed on way more than I would normally have done for a first coat. First coat is just a wee bit of paint to give a light dust in, and something for the rest of the paint to stick to. So when you guys do it, like I said, lay it flat like this and just put a wee layer on first of all. Now it says on the tin, leave it at least 20-25 minutes between coats. I would recommend taking your time and leaving an hour between coats and build it up slowly. Three or four coats if you need to, till you get a full solid look about it. But I rushed it here. I was battling against losing the light and I was worried that the weather was going to close in. I don't have a garage or anything so I needed to do this in the garden. So like I say I rushed it and I started putting more paint on. And I don't know if you can see in the top right there and on the right hand side. That's when I started getting the veiny effect. So it actually worked out brilliant. I had only left it for 25 minutes and it was nippy outside in Scotland remember. I don't know if that's an additional factor, but a thicker coat left for 25 minutes and then another good helping back on top. And I started getting that crazy, almost like veins in a leaf looking pattern, which ended up working out really, really well. So I left it again for about another 25 minutes and then I came back and just kind of filled in the patches Certainly in the corners I didn't have enough paint on them. And any wee bits in the middle that I thought needed a wee bit more. And I did leave it for an hour to dry at that time. Before returning and starting to remove the tape very, very carefully. Pulling it away from the edge as I go. 
and this is what I was left with a nice background that goes neatly up to the edges and doesn't splash over or anything looks great so I took it in the house and stuck a light behind it and I think this looks amazing by the way I might set it up like that I'm not too sure like I said this tank is for the better that I've got coming next week so we'll do a tank build video for it see how it finishes up I played with it a wee bit already and threw some plants in there just to make sure that they do stand out that they're clearly defined against the green background which they are really happy if you guys lay it flat like you're meant to and build up the layers in room temperature give it enough time to dry you should get a nice flat finish but I quite like this I'm quite excited we'll wait for the better build to see how it turns out in the end but until then I'm out later 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 later